What's going on guys, it's Kofi Abo, and today we're gonna to be talking about a lighting kit made by Tiffin and the Lowell Ego and the Lowell Blender XL. Now these two are very interesting lights. They have a small footprint, but they do come in handy and they do work for your run and gun lighting scenarios. Now it does have a 5 8 thread at the bottom of the light so you could mount it onto C stands and other lighting stands as well. It's also bicolor and dimmable too. So not only are you gonna be able to get a nice output out of this small light fixture, but at the same time with your normal filmmaking lighting stands and C stands, this is going to work perfect. And it fits nicely into bags such as your Nanit case or any of your carrying cases if you are traveling when you're bringing your lighting with you. Now on the other side, the Blender XL is a smaller lighting fixture, but it does have a double diffusion panel in it for a nice soft light in a small package. It also has an adjustable beam angle and it's also bicolor and dimmable just like the Ego is as well. Now a cool feature about the Blender XL is you actually have a DTAP cable in the package. So you're able to hook this up to V-mount batteries if you need external power and you can't hook up to a wall. Now in today's video, we're actually gonna be going through three setups that we can use using this run and gun lighting setup. And with me today, I have one Blender Ego and two Blender XLs and we're gonna go through the various situations that you would use these guys. Now this looks like your normal overpriced Toronto apartment and to be honest, you're pretty right, but it's also going to be our first lighting setup and that is the interview lighting setup. This is one of the most common three point lighting setups that you're going to find in your cinematography career. Starting off with our key light. Now we are in a room with a lot of natural light and a big window from the actual balcony. However, we're going to use a key light just to give more wrap around the face. And the second light is going to be your fill light. And this is going to be the light that's going to fill in any of the shadows that your key light actually makes. Now the Loa Ego is a little bit of a smaller, more compact light. So you're not going to get quite the spread as you would on a bigger softbox, which means a fill light will come in handy with making sure that everything is evenly lit. And lastly, just to separate our subject from the background, we're going to use a rim light, which is going to be another Blender XL as well. Now, what you're gonna do is adjust the white balance knobs on the back and your brightness to make sure that your key light is the brightest light out of the three, and the rest of your lights are pretty decently white balanced to make sure that you don't have any off-putting color. Now for our second lighting setup, this is gonna be for things like promotional videos. So we actually brought over a yoga instructor, Katie's over here, and she's going through a couple of yoga moves, but also incorporating the Tiffin lights just to tell the story about the idea that content creators nowadays, it's a little bit harder to make content, but using something like lighting setups is a great way to separate yourself from the pack and have higher quality images. Okay, so for the next lighting setup, it's gonna work if you wanna make small form commercials or maybe you're doing ads for social media. And this is a lighting setup where the Blender XL and the Ego work really well together in our second lighting setup. So for a key light, once again, we're gonna be using the Blender Ego light. Now, one of the techniques you wanna use when you have windows in your scenario is making sure that you're lighting from the window that you can't see. So right across here, we have a window on this side, but the way that I'm setting up this light is it's in a corner where you actually can't see the light in frame. This is called motivated lighting. So when I put this light over here, right by Katie's face, what ends up happening is it looks like that that window light is wrapping around to one other side of her face. Now we're gonna be using something like the Blender XL light to fill in the shadows, just like we did in our previous interview. But the way that you wanna do this is you actually wanna put this at a slightly lower power than your key light. That makes sure that you have the proper contrast ratio, increasing your depth and making your images look more cinematic. So for our last light, instead of using it as a rim light, we're actually going to be bouncing this Blender XL off of the wall. Now, this is a smaller light, it's a little bit harsher, but it does have a lot of power. And I found in my initial shot that the back wall actually looked a little bit dark as it was in my frame. So I used a third light like the Blender XL, and instead of using it as a rim light, which would keep the wall really dark, I actually bounced it off that white wall. It keeps that wall nice and bright to match the rest of our scene. Okay, so we're back in the apartment and we're gonna get into our third and our final lighting setup. And that's actually gonna be product photography. So if you're somebody that does product photos, maybe for a sponsor, maybe for your YouTube thumbnails, this lighting setup is going to come handy, especially if you're doing product-based photography. Now again, for this lighting setup, we're gonna be using two lights, the Ego and the Blender XL once again, with the Ego being our key light, which is pretty much the common theme for this video, and also using the Blender light to give us a little bit of fill for those shadows, just like in our other two setup. Now for context, I will be shooting this on the Sony a7 IV with a 35 millimeter G Master lens. Now that doesn't mean that this is the setup you need to have to get good photos, but if you use this lighting technique, you can even get really high quality photos out of an iPhone like this one. So what you're gonna notice here is without any sort of lights, especially if you're doing product video, it's gonna be pretty dark. And this is where we're gonna bring in our key light, which is the Lowell Ego. 
but you could tell that there's that shadow that falls off on the side and it doesn't really show all the details of the product you're trying to show off so that's where you'd have a fill light just like the blender xl and i actually made this light a little bit warmer just so it pops off the background a little bit and in the next couple seconds i'm gonna actually show you what the photography versions look like of that And there you have it. Those are three lighting setups that you can use with the Tiffin Lower Blender XL and the Blender Ego. Now, this is a small part of a much larger webinar that I actually got to do with Tiffin a couple days ago. So big shout out to them for sending me these lights and also letting me give some education back to creators that are just starting out and need a small run and gun lighting setup to use in their videos. That being said, if you like videos just like these, make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.